Artificial intelligence is flourishing, but the robots we speak to, like Siri and Alexa, were all built for a specific task, like playing music or telling you about traffic conditions. But the holy grail of artificial intelligence research is to create what's called a general intelligence. An AI with general intelligence could learn and perform any new task just like a human. It's pretty close, actually. No, 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 going bottom, no, 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 Researchers at OpenAI believe there's an unconventional path to general intelligence. Video games. Specifically, a game called Dota 2. What do we have here? Five of our internal employees uh, playing against the same OpenAI 5 version that we just played. Yes! Oh my god! They're celebrating because they just got a kill, but uh -huh. it's 10 minutes in and the it's their bots first have, kill. It's their first kill. The bots have 23 kills uh -huh. and the humans just got their first kill. <laughs> so the system starts with no knowledge of the game. And so it first starts out doing completely random things yeah. and just wander around the map and sometimes it'll do something that turns out to have been a good idea. Sure. And it'll get a little bit of reward. And it, what the algorithm does is it learns whatever it was, I don't know exactly what it was that caused a good thing to happen, but those actions that I took around that time, let's make them a little bit more likely. And if you just keep doing this, you get better and better and better. OpenAI has spent the past two years teaching its AI to play Dota 2. And by using a simulator, the bot has now played more than 17,000 years of practice games. VG Gaming versus Team Secret. Fight! Now it's going up against the game's best players at the biggest esports tournament in the world. This is the International. It's a huge esports tournament with a $25 million prize pool. How will you feel if you win? I think it'll be a big milestone, right? I think that that is, that is the moment where we can really say that our system is a world-class esports athlete. In 1996, IBM tested Deep Blue against Garry Kasparov in what now seems like the dark ages of AI. But Deep Blue was barely even artificial intelligence. It wasn't so much teaching a computer to think about the game of chess or to anticipate Kasparov's moves, but relied on brute force computing power to pick the best move in the moment and showed what AI might be able to do in the future. OpenAI, on the other hand, hopes to leverage what's known as deep learning to find out more efficient ways to actually train an artificial intelligence in the huge amount of servers that power it to do whatever its designers choose faster than ever. When its bot plays Dota, the computer is leaning on a well-trained brain instead of massive amounts of computing power. This is going to be the best team that we have played in public by far. All right, let's do it. They have a chance to represent humankind overall in this next matchup, and their opponents will be none other than OpenAI 5. Go ahead, have fun, smile! All right. Humans against OpenAI 5. The game started off well enough for OpenAI, as it was able to hold its own versus pro player. There you see OpenAI 5 perfect calculations. How's it going? It looks dead even. And OpenAI 5 wins a fight underneath the tier 1 tower. This is where we can really turn the game. Right? It's like when you really start to do the team fights, that's where we really excel. Sayo just a minute ago said we're going to lose, so we still might. Like, I, I trust Sayo quite a lot on this. It seems like OpenAI 5, once they're losing, they struggle to be able to find ways back into the game. We saw but the then, it got crushed. What was the OpenAI shit-talking that we used to see? The AI made some really bizarre decisions that the developers could have programmed it not to do. But if they did that, it wouldn't really be AI, since this AI teaches itself to play the game through trial and error. It's five dead, and Pain Gaming have won the first game against OpenAI 5. Goes to show that at least there are some humans competent enough to beat the OpenAI 5. OpenAI ultimately lost all of its matches against professional teams. 
But five months ago, the bot couldn't beat a team of five random people pulled off the street. Now, their bot beats players ranked in the 99.95th percentile. So you're able to play a 5v5 game That's right. at the World Championship. Yes. What's after that? Uh, we're still not the world champion. Uh -huh. And I think that's a really important next step. 